Hello and welcome back to Sky Wanderers. My name is Rabenschild. I tried to build basically the same configuration as this Mac has because I really, really like this Mac and I wanted to see how would someone build something like this. And the last time I experimented with um, the with all the stuff that is necessary to build um, the legs and do stuff like this. And I wanted to see how would one of these works. And it's, it's so easy. It's beautiful. So you, in, prin <laughs> in principle, you would go and just, um, yeah, build the legs. And I figured out that these ones are basically, yeah, stuck to the side instead of to the underside of blocks or something they're just stuck to the side of them the the how are these things called the hinges sees ones the base joint and it's neat um you can just put them on the side and they still behave like the normal uh, chicken walker legs basically and then you just to to get the rotation of this um of the it, it's here it's not a head here it is uh yeah more like a more like a turret um you in principle you just stick a a turret on top of it here at the moment you can see that i'm controlling it by moving so it it kind of moves the the head of the figure faster um than the the head of the mech or the turret of the mech i think it has to do with the with there not being a, a camera on this thing here so if i would stuck a camera on here i would have the same as here so uh, let me show that to you so here you can see it it basically controls uh, the the up and down the same as with the turret and we we can take a look at that I still <laughs> I really like this thing um, here it it moves the whole top a bit faster and I think again it has to do with there being a camera on it um, I will test that further uh, by the way I lost a lot of stuff I had built because my yeah my uh, computer crashed I had to replace everything start over and there, there, there was a lot of stuff I had to do so Skywaters 2 uh, was put a bit on the back burner <laughs> But now I should be back in full force. Yeah, and, and what you in principle just do is you just control with the with the control mechanism or the cockpit, the joystick, however you want to call it. You not only control the turret, this turret module, and then for now I just control the is that the vertical? No, the the horizontal path and the the, the vertical is this. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I sometimes I have to remind myself. And you you just stick one of these multiple output thingies here, and then you one output goes to the Mac controller, so you control the legs and the forward and backward motions and the other again goes to the turret and then i could yeah put um for the motion of these guns and here by the way is the camera you you would see through you would just stick the other axes on here and then um you would have something absolutely similar as this thing i know this is just the skeleton of it Today I wanted to take a look at something different, by the way. I wanted to take a look at um, the axes, because one thing that I really 
a struggle with when it comes to, um, for example, space engineers, and that's the the main game I'm playing, is that in survival mode I cannot use the axes. So I cannot go and just mirror stuff. Um, so that's a thing I'm not... I'm not too happy with, kind of, because I would like it if I would be, could, if I could, if I would, <laughs> that sounds as I, I'm not building, if I'm building in Space Engineers, I would like it to be able to have the, the mirrored sides of the ship, so placing one block on one side mirrors it to the other side, and this is one thing that this game at the moment can do. I hope that stays for survival. That that would be one thing I would absolutely not like to <laughs> to see when it went away. So let us hope that doesn't happen. Let me uh, place place a block. Hello. I can't place an open space. Wasn't there? There is. I knew that there is a way. Oh, okay. Let us do some preparation for maybe a ship or something like that. Um, the main thing I want to see is, uh, yeah, how is the mirroring? working um, just some big blocks and then the ship controller I'm I will have to see if that works out let me do this and a seat just to be sure, so seven, and then we just put some noopsies there and this here, and then we uh, do this. Oh, I'm already, I'm already connected with it. So, by the way, we now have um, maneuvering. We now have. <laughs> it already moves. the 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 energy system is not implemented yet, and it seems that uh, thrust also is not really implemented. So. Um, I will do that just to be prepared. I know that's, um, that the dev wants to work on that. And so I definitely want to be prepared for all eventualities that no, no, that this at one point just falls out of the sky if if I don't place these blocks, <laughs> um, uh, connecting them. Uh, if I have this, I will place it. So maybe get rid of this. Can I? Is there a way? No, there's no way to to connect them. So everything's fine. Good. But what I wanted to take a look at is this block. So, how does this work? So, do these things show the axis and it is, it is copying over? Oh, that's neat. So, these small things point basically to the sides where the mirroring is happening. So, if I do it this way then the mirroring should happen 
yes that's absolutely beautiful so what i could do for example is take this block have one okay this come on yes <laughs> the new system where you how you can now basically rotate the the axes of the yeah the the placement axes of these things so um how to explain that that's also hard to explain if i go in here and you can see the the cross shape there and i can basically um tell it where i want to have the side it sticks to and where it orients the the block to basically it's it's easier to see with a block that really has uh, distinct features so here you can see it rotates uh, it rotates on the surface of this block now i can no i can't with the seat it doesn't work maybe that's intended but i don't oh That's weird. How how does that work? So it does it work with hmm. now I need something that I can try that with again. You 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 have you saw that so that the the seed basically mirrors in this axis. So it it really mirrors the seed on the bottom of the top block that's weird is there more blocks that do it like that let us just yes the item stands do it too so and now i can't remove them <sighs> this <laughs> early access games brilliant can I? How can I remove these blocks now? Is there a different way to do that? Okay, with the ship block, I was able to do it now. Um, so that's, does he do that with these blocks too? the question is are there now two blocks in here but it doesn't seem to be the the other the other blocks um if they are stuck inside of them of themselves they they have these these the textures behaving here see that this uh how's that called z zx fighting or something like that um i i know that from someone in fallout or so uh, call it that I, I don't know if that's the right word but um, you can see that it does that and maybe it doesn't do that with full blocks hmm and I need to see if, if that's a if that's a thing that really is intended that way hmm but at least we know now how this works one one thing i want to know is can we turn these blocks off um if you can turn them on and off then you can basically leave them on a ship that would be neat because then you you can continue building in certain ways and you can just yeah turn turn the block off that you don't need um, otherwise you always have to remove them let us test that out a uh, switch come on give me <laughs> give me the switch eight and <laughs> it really mirrors on oh Oh, uh, okay. Let me 
let me remove this 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 is it it mirrors basically in the same axis so it doesn't use this block as the axis it really the axis runs through these blocks and um i'm <laughs> i'm not sure how good that is uh, because now i don't know if these blocks are doubled here so not completely sure if that is the case um no it's you can't you can't connect them to the switch that's a bit sad that that would be a thing i would really like so that you can just power them down it doesn't do it power it up again it does it so you always have to remove it on the other hand it's neat because then you just go okay i want to now mirror not on uh, on the middle of the ship i want to mirror on don't know the th this side because i uh, don't know i'm building uh don't know something something that's on the side here but i want to have it symmetrical that's neat that's really really neat so good let me let me go at it for a second and see see what the mirroring what <laughs> what it does with mirroring i always wanted to kind of rebuild some things i i did in in space engineers and uh, not in space engineers in star made maybe maybe i can go and uh, get some some old building plans out and try to <laughs> try to rebuild that with with sky wanderers that would be a neat idea i think let me grab ah, i i really like it if a game if a game has an option like this and i really wouldn't like to to lose that in in uh in survival so i definitely <laughs> if i have something to say about it i will definitely fight so that this stays in the game for <laughs> for all times maybe a bit neater maybe i can get someone get hold of someone and say okay uh it would be neat if you can turn that on and off uh then then my life would be complete no <laughs> that's that's a bit uh that's a bit much to say but that uh that seems to be working out. Um, building like that is is great. If you can if you can have the if you can have the mirrored axes, that's that's a good thing. Well, one one thing I always oh okay um, I really need to figure out at one point is how big can you go in starmate i built the sulaku from aliens and i kind of want to try to build it again um sky wanderers has brings some things with it that um starmate doesn't have I the having better control over sliding rails and all that stuff seems to be a thing that could really help um, in in a build like that. Um, I try to um, put in cranes and I wanted to have no no sliding sliding doors and all that stuff and um i really would like to try that again um okay 
I really would like to try that again. So I have this. It's, I'm, I'm just building. This is, I just pull that at the moment right out of my out of my behind just to to build something i'm 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 absolutely happy that that i can use that here and it hopefully stays oh man people um it's i i don't know i i don't think i need i need to do more for now um I would say we, we keep it short for today. Um, I also basically wanted to say, okay, we are back in Sky Wanderers. Um, some people might have uh, missed the last week. Um, I think I posted no videos last week and I wanted to definitely bring that back for this week. Good people, but I think I will stop here now. I will build a bit more, uh, get get to really know start to really know the building here i'm i'm not completely familiar with that now and or right now and i want to do some other things um one thing i wanted to test yeah maybe we can do that for the next video um i intend to do some tests with docking for myself. How does the docking work here? Um, how can I use that for builds? Can I dock multiple entities behind each other, for example? Um, that that would be things I would really like to know. So that's, that's one of the next things I will take a look at. Um, hope you like that I do that on camera. I know that there are people out there that, that know the game by now and uh, don't want to see me fiddling around with, but some other people might be interested in seeing how this all works and hopefully uh, these people appreciate that. <laughs> Good, people, but uh, lights, it needs lights. <laughs> Good people. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode. Uh, yeah, in the next episode, I would say thanks again. See ya, guys.